from Palo Alto, it's theCUBE. Covering Women Transforming Technology 2017. Brought to you by VMware. The CUBE's coverage of Women Transforming Technology held at VMware's uh, campus here in Palo Alto, California. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, joined by Jeff Frick. Uh, we are here at the conference, it starts today, it's, it's a one day event. Right. And we just heard Kara Swisher, who is a journalistic hero of mine, and she gave a great, rousing, funny, timely, topical, political keynote. What'd you think? She's been covering for so long. You know, I, I read AOL.com way back when and, and actually did an internship at AOL, I think in 96, back in the days when they were shipping shipping uh, CDs. So it's so fun to put her together with, right. you know, kind of that seminal moment. She's a veteran, time. exactly. She's terrific. She's, she's you know, she, she followed the uh, characteristics that she outlined in her keynote, which is be true to yourself. Mm -hmm. And you know, don't be an asshole, but don't really care what other people think. Be true to yourself. And she was that through and through. It's the first time I've actually ever seen her speak. It was a lot of fun. She's, she's a great, really dynamic, funny, self-deprecating, but also a bit of an ego herself. Oh, absolutely. Uh, um, I enjoyed, particularly as a fellow journalist, how she took Silicon Valley to task a few times. Just talking a little bit about the navel gazing that Silicon Valley does. Right, right. Um, how badly they want to talk about the products and the process when really the end users pretty much just care about does it work? Right. What's it going to do? Right. And, and two, it's, you know, it's kind of good news, bad news with, with, with Trump is it's a never ending source of, of good content for journalists. Never have to wake up in the morning and think of a, of a hard story to cover. And, then, and now it's going on unfortunately with Uber, which as she said, is like somebody falling down a flight of stairs and they just keep falling and falling and falling. You know, big post that came out last week on LinkedIn, it got pretty viral, widespread, and then apparently another one. And, Lord knows, I'm sure there's there's plenty more to uh, to go. And and she really, you know, called out, you know, she's trying to make people take a stand publicly a thing against things that are are not right. And you know, to really take a position, use your position of power to try to, as she said, you know, help people with afflictions and, and afflict people that yeah. don't need comfort, that. Uh, yeah, comfort. Yeah, those comfort those afflictions. And, and afflict the comfortable. The, the comfortable. Yeah. No, I think it's a great point in in terms of. Here, you Silicon Valley captains of industry, uh, you are powerful people, you run powerful companies, act like it, right, right. act like it, and, and take up these causes that Trump is certainly taking up, and, and particularly since they are so core to the values of Silicon Valley, these are gender issues, immigration, uh, gay, transgender, um, and, and, and start taking a stance and, and, and stand up. Right, and so we're excited to be here. This is, uh, I guess, the second time uh, they've had the Women Transforming Technology Conference. We actually covered a VM Women at a VMware show a couple years ago, and um, uh, the Clayman Institute was there. So, you know, we're excited to be back. A full day of interviews. Really glad to have you out. And again, welcome to Cal. I think just welcome to California. Thank you so much. I'm thrilled to be here. Um, but it's a full lineup. Uh, we're going wall to wall, and then ending the day with I know someone that you're really looking forward a to. A feminist icon, Gloria Steinem. And I also think that kudos to to VMware and to the other sponsors of this conference for choosing her. I mean, she's not an obvious choice for a Women Transforming Technology Conference uh, closing address, but she she really is going to, to, to take on so many of these important issues of the day. Okay, so any, any particular guests that you're most excited about today? I, I mean, there's so many. Uh, I am excited to talk to the woman at the uh, Clayman Institute for Gender Research. Uh, yeah, Lori's she, fantastic. Yeah, Lori's going to be fantastic. Um, Yan Bin Lee, uh, she, she looks really interesting and, and a dynamic speaker. I know she's been on theCUBE before. Right, right, many times. Yeah. All right, super. Well, I think they are just about ready to get out of the keynote, so we should probably uh, Excellent. get ready for our first guest. Thank you so much. <laughs> All Great. right. We'll see you back here soon.